live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my newscast I'm willing to tell you about. So you should sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up? I'm JR. You chilling? All right, let's get started. The reason I'm right here today because um, I'm just uh, recording on what traffic is look like on US 72 right now. Um, it's on Nance Road. And you see all these people going home from work and it's ridiculously heavy and uh, normally if you drive on this road you can see that um, normally if it's not that heavy it can take you 15 minutes from going from Sparkman to uh, at this point to uh, and 20 minutes from Sparkman all the way to Caroline World but that is not the case it can take more than that maybe an hour or 50 minutes because um, it's incredibly heavy see all these cars moving and it's totally backed up see all these lines of cars that um that is slowing down because the main factor is that the light changes and stuff so um yeah that's what's going on right now and i'm going to block the sun right here so um you can see a little better that um cars slowing down right now so they're extremely back up because uh, what the Alabama can do to fix this problem is they're going to ride in this road to six lanes. But will it solve the problem? Well, I don't know. They improved this road and they make it two lanes on the east side and on the west side. But it used to be a yield turn signal or whatever. But it's not the case either. I mean, you see all these cars backed up. And uh, I can see a reason why because there's a lot of cars that are going this way. And you can't really yield unless uh, they are stopping or they have to stop and then the last car can turn from there. So, yeah, that's what's going on. It's a real massacre out there, folks. I tell you what. Now, um, what I will do uh, next is uh, give you a rant on reality shows and whatever. And... Uh, well, forget about that. I'll do um do it on my next newscast tomorrow. But right now, it's very serious right here. But what what I will do instead is give you a rant on the uh what's best and what's worst. So um yeah, keep me updated on that. <laughs> and what made me laugh so hard yesterday? You won't forget about this. I mean, too many people commented on about one cartoon and stuff. So uh yeah, it's pretty funny to me. What I will give you is what is the most exciting and the most disturbing ever. So, um, yeah. Alright, I hope you like this and see all these um, little bitty um, slow people moving or whatever. What is this lady looking at right here? She's in my own damn business. But I'm on my way to school. So... That's what's going on. Well, you know what? Um, let's forget about that. Uh, rant and stuff. I'll do all this uh, tomorrow. And I'll uh, take it from there. But this is what I really had to show you. So, just letting you know. Well, I hate her. This comes to me when I had to change my mind. So I can't even make my mind today. You know what? You know that? Now I'm going to take you and give you a quick three or two minutes of a rant on the, uh, what's the word? Um, about the reality show. So, uh, I'll go take you there. So, you ready? All right, let's go. Um, roll the tape, please. And I hope you enjoy it. All right. Hello, everyone. This is J-Dog once again right here. Yeah, I just show you the traffic. And if you remember last night about the uh, weather in stuff in October, it was really freezing outside. I mean, so freezing that I found frost in my car. It you shouldn't usually uh, be cold this time of year. But anyways, I'm glad it's cold. I'm glad it's fall. But uh, the cold temperatures, yeah, I don't mind that. But if it's snowing in October, I don't mind either. But 
Alright, let's get started. It's gonna be uh, under our three minute uh, lecture on the uh, reality shows. Yeah, so, uh, does anybody remember Jersey Shore? Well, of course. I mean, it's a good show, it's a reality show, but sometimes there are a lot of arguments, there are a lot of fights and stuff. And, uh, you know, you know why reality shows are created so uh, people can get their laugh on so they can be entertained. So they can be happy, and if they sell their merchandise and stuff, just like that, I mean, they're gonna be famous. That's how the TV producers make money, and so are the celebrities. Now, um, yes, so that's what happens around here. But um, do you? Does anybody also remember the real world? Like, uh, it's also a reality show with the random people show. But yeah, um, I don't know what it's about, but I never watched it, so, um, just give you a show of it so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. There's a lot of conflicts, like, uh, there's a lot of sadness, there's a lot of arguing and stuff. Um, well, the argument is about, uh, about family members, personal problems and stuff, and blame one another. But at the end, uh, sometimes they end up leaving, never coming back, or they just come back to refresh their mind, or at the end of the day, they're just forgiving and just move on from there. So, uh, yeah, that's what happens in real life. And does anybody know Parental Control? Parental Control is also an MTV show, but, uh... People telling me and stuff, I've been watching this back in 7th grade and stuff, and uh, people, it's been going out since uh, 2005, 2006, something like that, um, do you know, uh, parental control is some kind of fake, cause uh, people believe it's fake, but, uh, I believe it's fake too, but it's not a real show, so, it's about people going on dates with different people, and make their girlfriend boyfriend jealous and then when the person dumps the girlfriend and boy or boyfriend for a new person they had to get out of their parents house or move out or they forced to break up so um yeah that shit happens right there be careful buddy okay today i'm actually gonna be taking heather to a nice restaurant well the next topic i was going to talk about um going to take her to a you know what uh, the Disney show is about? Um, I'm going to take you there and next week and see what's possibly causing right now. Because it's going to be a surprise. I can't tell you. So, you know, I'm going to end this from there. But um, I think that's all for today. I think um, I'm going to uh, sign off from there. But until next time, I'm Jay Dog. I'm out. Peace. Mike Wilmer.